As you recall in the previous training video, we learned how to enter in our task progress by a percentage. So if our task was halfway complete, we marked it at 50% and so on. We also learned how to enter in our actuals or the actual start time versus our project's planned time. In fact, let's go back to that view. I'm going to come over here and right click on the collapse view bar, go down to more views, and if you recall it was the task sheet view. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and pull it up. Now in this task sheet view, I'm in the tracking table. By default, whatever view you were in last that you changed the table to, the most recent table, is what's going to pull up in that view. How do I know it's a tracking table? I'm going to come up here, click on the view menu, go down and there it is tracking. Let me click off in a blank area. Now the reason why I brought you back here is because at some point you may want to check on the project to see if it's on track. How do I know it's on track? Well, I need to compare my actuals against my baseline or my original project plan. I can't do it in this table. I'll take you to that table in just a second. But before I do that, let me go ahead and mark another task complete. This one we'll say is complete 100%. And you can see that when I make a change here, all the highlighted cells that are affected by that change. I'm going to come over here and say that instead of uh, starting on August 11th, let's change it and say that they were able to start this task actually a bit earlier, like August the uh, 7th here. I'm going to go ahead and click Save to get rid of those highlighted uh, changes. Okay, so now that I updated that task, I now want to check to see if my project is on track. To do that, I'm going to come up here and change tables from View down to Table, and it's the Variance table. I'm going to come up here in between the two column headers and double click really fast to best fit the task name column so I can see all the tasks there. And you can see the other columns. I have my start and finish columns. Now they don't say actual start or actual finish because the start and finish columns are actually showing us two things. Anytime we update a task and we have an actual date, it writes it over here in the start column. But for those tasks that we haven't marked completed yet, it'll hold its original start date or baseline date, like down below here, okay? So you're looking at your start column and you want to compare it to your baseline start where it never changes because that was the original plan of our project as you recall if you watched the baseline training video. And be sure that you always set your baseline or save it before you start entering in your actuals because if you don't then this isn't going to make any sense because you'll have nothing to compare it to. So you can see my original plan was to start on August the 1st for the exam and software task but it was delayed because Rider 1 was sick so it started on August the 5th. In fact, if it helps, instead of bouncing back and forth between uh, these two columns um, over the finish column, you can come over here and select the column header for baseline start. After you select it, notice that my pointer has a four-way arrow. Go ahead and click and drag over to the left until you see that fuzzy line right there next to the start column and let go. And then I can just go back and forth in between these two columns. makes it much easier. And then I can go from finish to finish. So I have my baseline finish. It was supposed to be finished on August the 7th, but it actually finished on August the 8th. Now over to the right you have your start and finish variance columns. Anytime you see a positive number, that means it was a delay. Anytime you see a negative number, that means it was completed earlier, earlier than expected, or earlier than the baseline here. So let's see if it makes sense. The baseline was to complete on the 14th, but this task completed on the 13th, so we're ahead one day. So is my project on track? Well, it's not right at the moment in the research phase. We're ahead a little bit, it looks like. For the outline phase, we're out one day. And why is that? I mean, why is it just out one day here, but yet all the rest of the days down below are unaffected? Well, if we enter in and we mark complete all these tasks without any variance from the baseline, we just say it's complete, complete, complete. We don't change the actual start and finish times. It'll actually end up this way. But again, why isn't it trickling down? That comes to knowing your project. In other words, do you have task constraints in here? For example, this task right here, Review with Subject Matter Experts, right now its baseline finish is supposed to be August the 12th. And for the next task, its successor is supposed to start on August the 25th. So you can see we've got a huge gap between the 12th and the 25th. So basically these tasks up above can be delayed out several days up until the 25th before this gets affected and then because this gets affected it becomes like a critical path. It'll probably start affecting all the other days because I don't think I have any lag time in between the other tasks. So then you'll see that if I get up to this point that all these others will have a variance or a delay of one or two days depending upon how far this task here gets pushed out beyond the 25th affecting this task and so on. 
And as you recall, again, this task has a start no earlier than constraint than the 25th. Even though it's linked to its uh, predecessor here, it still cannot start any earlier than the 25th. You can double click, go to the advanced tab, and there it is. The constraint do not start any earlier than August the 25th. So there's a nice little uh, table that you can quickly view and compare your actuals versus your baseline to see if you're on track. And again, we may not be on track right now because of the uh, variances here, but if we keep going the way we're going and we don't have any other interruptions, then we should be on track at least for the project end date, which is targeted to uh, September the 18th. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.